Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another Home Bargains Come Shop With Me and I'm so excited to share this with you. This is my March Come Shop With Me. I'm going to be showing you guys what's new in Home Bargains so make sure you stick around and let's just get straight on with today's video. So as soon as I walked in I went straight to that kind of bath section and I saw these bath salts and the lavender and jasmine ones looked so so good and they have such a big range at the moment. The West Lab ones looked really really good value too. The Imperial Leather Bath Soak looks so so good and they have so many different ones in at the moment. I think that the golden one had to be my favourite out of them all. They also had quite a good range when it came to their Radox. I love Radox for a good bubble bath, so I definitely had to check these ones out as well. And then those that has so many new Simple products in, and I love Simple products. I love their facial wash, I love all their products, and I love the fact that they've got a shower gel now and a body wash, which is so cheap too. Dove's bath products are one of my favourites. I love their nourishing silk ones because they are so, so soft on the skin and I just think they're really, really good. I use these ones all the time and from home bargains, they are such good value. And I moved on to some of the hair bits. I've been trying a lot of different hair masks lately, but the Ultimate Blends one looks so, so good. It has coconut oil in them and there's two different ones. I also think the packaging is so, so cute. They have different ones for like different strengths and that kind of thing. There's a coconut and a honey one and I really, really want to try them out. I actually bought the Sunshine Blonde Silver Mask for my hair. I actually saw that they had simple hair products, which I did not know simple did hair products. I know only 99p, so I really want to try one. I don't think I've ever seen the Bamboo and Lotus shampoo and conditioner before, but for 99p for shampoo or conditioner, that seems really good value, and it has actually really pretty packaging. So this is one that I think could be interesting to try out. They also have the coconut and water one too. One of my go-to brands for hair products is John Frieda, and they have some really good deals on the home bargains. One that I also like is their Aussie brand. Brand. The Miracle Moist one looks really good and this is a conditioner that I actually haven't tried yet but they also do the little sample packets which I think is a really really good idea if you haven't tried the brand so, yet. So on to more of the skincare part because this is one of my favourites. I really like the look of the Neutrogena Oil Balancing Facial Wash because my skin has been so so oily at the moment that I think this would be really really good for it. Then I saw the Nivea collection and I feel like they've definitely expanded this section. I did not see the Micellar Facial Wash last time and I'm obsessed with like shower facial wash at the moment so I think this would be quite good and then L'Oreal Paris have definitely upped their game too with their milk toners I am obsessed with the different hair dyes at home bargains pastel live colors at the top are definitely my favorites I've used the purple one quite recently but I also kind of like the darker ones down below so I like the silver one and then there's kind of a burgundy plum shade that I do really really want to try I saw that they had quite a few new different face masks at the moment so they've got these hydrating vitamin E ones, the collagen ones. They also have this hyaluronic acid serum, which I've never ever seen before. So that looks quite interesting. They also do the same serum in a vitamin C version too. You're supposed to use this once a day. They had these super soothing printed face mask for 89p as well, which I've never seen before. As well as the watermelon vibes one, which is five sheet masks in one. So the next thing that I saw was these body glitters and body light washes and then the impulse. They definitely had a bigger impulse range this time when I visited and I love the theme of the products. The Tropic Twist looked really, really nice. The packaging was so good and I just really want to try the different ones out. The Cool Crush also is one that I would really like to try out and like just see what it's like. Coconut and Lavender Body Oils look so, so good. They're actually quite cheap as well. They have quite a lot of like lavender products which I think look really nice and I want to try some out. The Cocoa Butter Formula is supposed to be so good. I know people that have used this before and it's had such great reviews. I then went to more of the tanning section and the tanning section has definitely improved. I don't think I saw any Dove or Rimmel products last time I came. They also had quite a few Garnier ones as well and some Sunkissed ones too which I don't think I've seen before. I then saw these which were definitely definitely new these are the retinol and collagen like moisturizing gels and that kind of things these look so good these are by skincare and i've never seen them before and then got drawn to the hand creams which i'm always drawn to and they are so so nice i love the packaging and look really really good the hair section is one that i moved on to next and i was so so close to buying some scrunchies they look really nice and they've got such a variety of different colors 
I did however end up buying some of the gold clips, they are so, so useful. They had quite a few new W7 makeup products as well, like the glow ones. And then I also really like the metallic lip glosses because I think the packaging actually looked really nice and some of them actually look quite Kylie Jenner style too. So I think they're definitely getting ready for the festival season as well. They've got quite a few like festival kind of themed ones. One of my favourite parts from this section was the Up All Night Glitter and Sparkle Stay Kit. This included three pots of glitter and was only $1.99. This makeup sponge here is the one that I always talk about, the Olivia Hale makeup sponge. And then I've just tried the silicone pebble sponge too. And then I really want to try one of these jade rollers as well. The brush section is looking so good at the moment. At the moment, they've literally got a brush for every single occasion. They've got eye brushes, blush brushes. They have everything that you would need. They also have a big variety of different brush sets, which I think is quite good. So you can get all your brushes in one. While I was there, I also noticed they've definitely increased the amount of nail polish remover that they have. I'm not a massive fan of acetone lately because I'm trying to be more healthy for my nails. But I love the dip and twist pots because they are so, so easy to get your nail polish off with. So one of my favourite parts of the store is their gift collection sets. These look so, so good. They have some brand new ones in at the moment, so I was so interested by these. They also had quite a lot of new kind of makeup bags and makeup sets. So they had these letter ones and then they also had the organizers. These spritz and lotion one look so good. They have they have such gorgeous packaging and it just looks it looks like such a good product for such good value. The marble effect makeup bags are so so cute. I do have one of these and I really want the other one as well. But this is kind of a theme that I'm really into at the moment. I think it's just so aesthetically pleasing and just so pretty. The stripy pink cosmetic bag is one that I really want. It's only two ninety nine, and it just gives me Victoria's Secret vibes, and I love all of their products. I also am really interested in the Redox Feel Fruity Fresh Shower Gel Pack. I then moved on to the Easter section, which I'll be honest, guys, I love this section so much. They had such a big range of Easter eggs in and all Easter foods. So I had quite. They literally had something for all ages. So they had like cookie dough mix. They had all the different packages. They had lots of like little eggs that you could do like little Easter egg hunts with, which I thought was so cute. I also saw these decorate your own egg packages, which I don't think I've ever seen before. They looked really cool. And then they had some Haribo ones. And I think the presentation of the Easter food was really, really good. Like the Haribo one looks so, so cute. So do things like the Paw Patrol ones. And then they also had this dinosaur egg too with a little teddy bear at the top. I love mini eggs, so I was so happy when I saw these. I also saw the egg and spoons, which I haven't had these in about a year now, but they were one of my favourite things about Easter. And they're only $1.99, which is quite good, because I think they used to be $2.99 last year, but they are so nice. You get four eggs. Another one that I really like are the mini cream eggs, because I'm so obsessed with these. My mum loves the Oreo ones, but I just love the regular cream egg ones. And this had these hot chocolate chocolate Easter eggs, which look so cool. You put them in a hot chocolate and they're supposed to melt. And they had so many of these, I kind of want to try one out. I then moved on to the actual Easter eggs and they had so many different ones. The Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig ones were so cute. I then really like the Easter eggs that have got like, things inside them. Like we can sit here with the Galaxy ones. And again with the Kit Kat ones, they've got like these of like Kit Kat bar in the actual eggshell. Same with the Malteser too. I actually got off my birthday with the mini egg one and it was amazing. So moving on to more of the Easter craft section now. They had so many cute bits in. I love all the little like nests and all the different decoration. I think it made it feel like so much more like spring. I thought that's what people really need at the moment. I've never really decorated at Easter, but I know that a lot of people do, and this would be the perfect place to buy all your Easter decorations from. I love the little chicks. I used to have these, I used to have these every single year when I was younger. I just think the chicks are so cute. They have the little classic yellow ones, but they also had like the rainbow colored ones too. And then these candle jars, I nearly got one of these bunny candle jars just for all year round because these are so pretty. The pastel shades are gorgeous. The lavender hat to be my favorite, 
that will be perfect for all year round, not just Easter. I saw so many different things that would be great to put like as a little Easter hamper basket together. So I thought that would be a really, really nice idea for Easter. They've definitely, definitely increased their game when it comes to their nightwear collection because they had some gorgeous pieces in that looked so, so comfy too. Again, they had a Victoria's Secret style top, which I was obsessed with, the white and pink striped one, which is like a pyjama top. I then saw quite a lot of their snoods, which looked so comfy and like woolly hats. And they also had those microwavable heat pack toys that you stick in the microwave and then you heat them up and you can like sleep with them and they're really warm and cozy in bed. So I then saw this rose gold section and this looked quite cool. So many different things that were in like different rose gold sets. So you had stationery sets, there was like book sets, notepad sets, you had even passport sets. But I really, really liked the little cat photo frame. I thought that looked so, so cute and so simple. And then I also saw they had a printed yoga mat, which I thought was pretty cool. And it was like positive mind, positive vibes, a positive life. I think that is just such a good vibe. So I then went down the Mother's Day aisle and let me say, they actually impressed me. They had a lot of good Mother's Day things, which really, really did surprise me with it being home bargains. So for Mother's Day, they had a lot of cute like, little tokens. So they had different key rings, different necklaces, different like badges, things like that. And they were really, really nice. I love the like kind of tatty tatty style ones but they were really really cute they also had a big variety of different cups and glasses and like soft toys too the photo from the glitter i was obsessed with i thought it was so so gorgeous i also ended up buying the hand cream for myself because i thought it looked really really nice and they also had like just simple gifts like coasters and mugs and cups and candles and they just looked so good so this candle here looked so nice it has a mother's your first friend your best friend your forever friend on one side and it says if mothers were flowers i'd pick you candles are just go-to gifts and then I saw Tati Teddy mugs which matched the key rings and they looked so, so cute. I then saw these different money banks which I thought were nice and you can also like make your own things like make your own gifts for Mother's Day which I thought was quite sweet. And they just had a big, big variety of different gifts. But one of the favourite things I saw were these body and hand cream sets. I think my mum would love one of these. They've got so many different ones. They've also got the shower smoothie sets which are like really, really similar. They've got the hand cream sets, they've got the pampering gift sets, the lip balm sets, all by the same brand. I then saw this Impulse gift bag, which looked really, really nice. And the whole set had the same one, but in like a tin style as well. There's quite a few different things that are like left over from Christmas as well, which is good because they're all in a sale. So I then moved on to more of the homeware and I'm not normally one for like kitchenware but this tub looked so so good. It's a draining sink bowl and my mum would genuinely die for this. She would love it so much. I then saw all these storage options and I loved the colours of these teapots. They looked so so good. They had biscuit ones as well which were matching to the tea ones and I think having kind of an aesthetic and like a colour theme to your kitchen is so so good so so good and i think you can just really really make your kitchen i must be the biggest collector when it comes to home bagging mugs and cups i just think they're always so so cute i love their travel mugs they're like my favorite ones to buy but they're always always extending their range so i'm always having to pick more up I also really like the cups that say happy, hello, sunshine, embrace every day, good vibes. This is a set of four and I think they are so cute. They also have other sets that do match these cups. They've got little bowl sets, other mug sets, you can get plate sets, things like that. I love sets that you can get matching for kitchens because I think it just makes your kitchen look so much nicer. My favourite thing from the kitchen section had to be the glitter placemats. These are a rose gold slash gold kind of theme and they were so so pretty i love everything glitter i love everything rose gold and these ones just honestly won me over they were so gorgeous they had a lot of nice homeware things around especially the different candle holders they had this weird ring candle holder and then they had quite a few different like circular ones so they had this peach colored one and they had a blue one and then the silver one had to be my favorite it was so so pretty I also really like the leopard print one, I thought that was quite pretty. 
and then they had like a giant leopard print on them as well which would match really nicely with the original one they have a lot of trinket trays they have this kind of peachy red color they have a navy blue slash black and then a turquoise i think the turquoise stood out really really well they have a lot of ones that are So I spent quite a lot of time down the baking aisle because it was my birthday coming up at the time of filming this and I bought so many different baking bricks. They had so many cute things in. I had different sprinkles, I had different icing toppers. They also had edible glitter and they had such a big variety of different things. So everything came in like different colors, different styles. They had cupcake cases, they had different stamping sets. I love the different stamping sets because they had the different animals on them and then they had the little flower daisy cutters and they had such a big variety and they were just all so, so pretty i love the icing bags and different piping icings because they had so many different colors i also love the chocolate flavored frosting this is one of the best things ever it tastes so so good So guys, that is everything in the new Home Bargains Come Shop With Me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. I love seeing what's new in Home Bargains. But that is pretty much it for me for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do not forget to smash that thumbs up button. Do not forget to comment down below other videos you'd like to see. Maybe the shops you'd like me to go around. And that is it from me for today. So I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.